About a year ago, I made a brine shrimp ecosphere. This video will be an update, but more importantly, the end of the ecosphere. As we'll open it up, smell it, and look at its contents under the microscope. So about a year ago, well, I believe it was closer to 10 months ago, I filled a jar with salt water, a rock, and sticks, adult brine shrimp, and brine shrimp eggs, and closed it airtight. This is what it looked like. Two weeks later, a lot of algae started to grow on the glass, and the adults had produced baby brine shrimp. A few weeks after that, more algae started to grow. At some point, I couldn't look inside the ecosphere anymore, but I was still able to come to the conclusion that all the brine shrimp died, and I didn't really know why. I asked you guys what we should do with this dead saltwater ecosphere, and there were a few ideas, but quite some people said that I should just wait to see what would happen, which was the easiest thing to do. After no visible change for 4 months, I decided that it was time to open it up. So, let's not wait any longer and open it up and take a smell. Ooh, I've never done this before. Well, actually there was the rotten terrarium, but that's uh, not an ecosphere, so different. Anyway, let's uh, do the scientific way first, because you don't want to burn your nose hairs out which I have done before. Oh, that's really bad. No, just kidding. I don't smell anything. So let's poke my nose in there and see if we get any further. No, nothing. That's weird. I expected it to be really gross, but uh, I don't smell anything, not even salt. And the water is crystal clear. So that's something. It's only the glass that is covered in algae. I can see everything. Well, I'm, I'm kind of disappointed by that actually. <laughs> I was hoping for a really gross, rotten, disgusting smell. And I didn't get anything. Well, that's anticlimactic. Well, I guess that's it for the smell test. Yeah, so I guess I'm gonna start cleaning out the glass now. And uh, I don't know if you can see it from there, but uh, the water is crystal clear. And if I clean the glass, the entire ecosphere seems to be just healthy. Except it's all completely dead inside. <laughs> so, anyway, I'll get back to you when it's all uh, clean. I was hoping to find some answers about why the shrimp died, now that I could see inside. But I couldn't see any trace of the shrimp. So it'll remain a mystery. Let's look at this ecosphere under the microscope. To maximize the chance of finding microbes, I'm going to take a look at this piece of algae that's been growing here for at least half a year. I prepared the microscopic slide off camera. Here you can see it at the lowest magnification, and oh no. At this magnification you can clearly see green cells. They are algae cells. I'm kind of ashamed that I don't really know enough about microscopic life to tell you guys a coherent story, but I am learning. Oh no, not again. Look at all those black things. I wonder what they are. Also, ignore me trying to reattach the camera. I have no clue what these black things are. I've never seen them before. But then again, I've not seen that much through the microscope yet. Perhaps they're some sort of unicellular organism that turned themselves into cysts. If that's even a thing. I know bacteria can do that, but these aren't bacteria. They are all clumped together, so there's definitely something going on. Do you see what I see? I see movement. Oh no, not now. Bad time. So 
So, as I was saying, I saw two microorganisms. This is some sort of ciliate, which is about as far as I dare to go determining it. This one seems to be a single small vorticella, vorticella, I don't know how to say it. I have no clue what species it could be, but it's the first time I have ever seen one through my own eyes. Well, sort of. So that is pretty special. I'm actually seeing two of them now, but the lower one doesn't really seem to be very active. Oh, nope, there he goes. I don't know about you guys, but I think this is really, 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 really cool. It shows how, apart from the algae, the ecosphere is definitely not dead inside. You don't want to see my dry hand. I'm also going to take a look at a piece of algae from the glass to see if there's any difference. It does look a little different, but let's move to a less pleated area. I'm not so sure I understand the structure of this algae. It seems like it's a bunch of cells connected with a bunch of strings or something that looks like a string. What I'm seeing way more of in this algae than in the other algae are all these little these little, these little these, no clue what they are. I'm also seeing a lot of these structures. Let's do some digital zooming, which is of course very sacrilegious, and see if that makes it better. And here we go. I guess I deserved it. Never mess with optics. Let's see if we can find some more. I'm starting to feel bad for showing you awesome stuff and then not telling you what you're looking at. But I simply don't know. So if someone out there does know what's going on here, please let me know. And all that cool stuff came from this small piece of algae. This would happen if we tried to zoom in digitally. Not good. This is also fun to show you. This is what the lid looks like. And this is what a, well I was going to say healthy, but I mean normal lid looks like. I understand the rust, but I wonder what happened to the sticker. I decided to only clean half of the glass, so we can see what happens to both the clean and algae part when I let it sit open for some more time, making sure to add water to keep the salinity equal. And then in the future we'll do something interesting with it. So if you don't want to miss that, and if you don't want to miss other projects, well, you're going to have to subscribe. Thanks for watching.